Hello, Namaskar, and welcome. A new case in F test. Test of significance of two variances, and now we are with two tail test. Let's first of all read the case. Shoe factory A and B. That means there are two populations, factory A and factory B, manufacturing shoes. Sample size A twenty one B sixteen. Sample standard deviation in weeks two point five and one point eight. Since this to have been given in number of weeks we may think that this is the data about say average life of the shoes produced by the two factories a and b similarly sample mean that means mean life in number of weeks 195 a customer going to place a bulk order wants to know whether the difference between the two variances is significant or not take alpha 0.05 A customer wants to know whether the difference between the two variances is significant or not. That means the customer is not interested. The variance of particular vari uh, population is greater than the variance of the other or not. That means this is not the case of one tail test. He just wants to know whether the difference is significant or not. That means. is there any significant difference between the two variances so this is the case of two tail test okay now first of all since the two standard deviations are available we have to find out the two variances standard deviation of factor a is 2.5 so its variance will be 6.25 standard deviation of b is factor b is 1.8 so its variance must be 3.24 and higher becomes the numerator or the population with the higher sample variance is considered as population number 1 and as the numerator in the formula of f ratio so this one is s1 square and this one is s2 square and on the basis of that n1 is 21 So degree of freedom is twenty and two is sixteen. Degrees of freedom is fifteen. Degrees of freedom of numerator as well as denominator. Now, since this is two tail test, obviously we have to go for alpha by two. That is zero point zero two five. Now critical values. First of all, in your book or booklet, find out the table with alpha uh, table of say. f distribution with alpha by 2 value 0.025 that should be given in the title of the table in which first of all we are going to find out critical value of f for upper tail now the table is with me alpha 0.025 degrees of freedom of denominator is 15 so in first column 15 degrees of numerator is 20 So against fifteen, find out the value in the column of twenty that comes to two point eight six. So the critical value for upper tail comes to two point eight six. Now how to find out the critical value of F for the lower tail? In case of chi square, the procedure or rather the steps to be followed are different. in case of f test the critical value of the lower tail is reciprocal to the critical value of the upper tail yeah so the formula for the critical value of f for the lower tail is 1 divided by critical value of upper tail 1 divided by 2.86 that is 0.35 so the say sketch of the graph will be something like this lower tail value upper tail value and between these two critical values the acceptance region is there if the calculated value of f ratio is less than 0.35 the lower tail critical value then the null hypothesis of no difference will be rejected Similarly if the calculated value of f ratio is greater than 2.86 the critical value of f for the upper tail then also the null hypothesis of no difference will be rejected that means if the calculated f ratio falls
between these two, 0.35 and 2.86, then only the null hypothesis of no difference between the two variances will be accepted or we cannot reject. So, let's calculate the F ratio, but before that, let's write the null hypothesis. There is no significant difference between the two variances. Yes. And alternative hypothesis will be there is a significant difference between the two variances. H A will be variance 1 is not equal to variance 2. Ok, now it is turn of calculating F ratio. F equals to S1 square, the higher one by S2 square. That is 6.25 divided by 3.24. So, the calculator value of F comes to, let us calculate, 6.25. 25 divided by 3.24. It comes to 1.929, approximately 1.93. Yes. Yeah. F calculated is 1.93. That means it is between the two critical values. Critical value for the lower tail and critical value for the upper tail. The calculated value of F ratio is between the two critical values. That means HO cannot be rejected. Or we accept the hypothesis that there is no significant difference between the two variances. Yes? Yeah, it is 1.93. I wrote wrong value here, H O cannot be rejected. That means H O null hypothesis is accepted and the conclusion will be there is no significant difference between the two variances. Okay, now someone may have a curiosity, why should a customer be interested in knowing the difference between the two variances? Yes, this is the point of quality control. See, the average life of the shoes manufactured by the two factories, we believe that the two factories may be under the same management or not, but the customer has two alternatives. Yeah. In case of A, the mean life of the shoes is 100 weeks. In, life, in case of B, it is 95 weeks. So, there is no much difference. At least we compare these two statistics. Actually, this is the case of test of significance of difference between two means. We assume that the customer has already arrived at the conclusion between these two means. And maybe the difference or other significant difference may not be there, we don't know exactly, but he or anyone 
who looks for quality or in case of quality management or in case of expectations of quality the variance is or comparison between two variances is very much important that's why where there is a question of quality we always go for comparison of variations in the quality yeah that's why the if test of significance of two variances is always very much important where there is a question of quality management that's it thank you very much